want to talk to you about why patients buy our services. See, understanding patient psychology is very important. And you're not going to walk disappointed when they don't accept your treatment. See, every person on this earth buys a product or service for their own reasons, not ours. But somehow, when I talk to dentists and plastic surgeons and so forth, they somehow become offended that someone does not accept their treatment plan. But the reason is they do not understand the patient psychology, or at least I should say buying psychology. So let's look at a person as why they would actually buy a certain product or service. Well, they buy it because maybe the way the product or service is going to make them feel, maybe the way they can look to other people, to their friends and family, maybe it's because they see it as something that will save them time, make them more money, and or collectively, they see a lot of value in it. So let's make, give you an example. Let's say we have this lady that she's considering a brand new smile on your recommended treatment plan with eight to 10 porcelain veneers on the top. And she is considering getting this. Now you're recommending it and you think, you know what, I'm actually going to offer her the best treatment because I'm the best dentist. But again, the patient is buying it because of her own reasons. So let's look at these examples. Maybe she's buying or considering buying a brand new teeth, a brand new smile, because of the way she wants to look to other people. Maybe she's, you know, she goes to a tennis club or some social gathering and she wants to look good, sexy, young among her friends. Maybe it's because of the way she needs to feel. She needs to feel more confident every time she's in the front of a mirror putting her lipstick on her lips. Maybe it's because she thinks if she has a brand new smile, it can make her more money. How? Well, it could be that, you know, she's going for the next job interview and she feels like she needs to get this promotion and she needs to look sharp and absolutely beautiful. Or maybe she thinks it will save her time. See, many patients, they don't want to spend their time in the dental office every six months fixing this broken tooth and that broken tooth and so forth. And, <coughs> and actually, they lose a lot of time from work, right? So maybe she thinks, okay, if I do this, then it will save me time. I get everything done all at once. I'll end up with a beautiful teeth. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel comfortable. So all of that is really a collective value that they put on on the service this is one of the reasons sometimes we come across people that they buy certain items that to us looks absurd and crazy and i see people always argue husbands and wives hey why did you spend your money on this and the other person you know and so forth but really the true reason is we do not understand the patient buying psychology or a customer's buying psychology right this is what I have been training doctors and dentists for the past 30 years. And I am very happy to coach you and your team, no matter where you're in the globe, through technology like this, I can reach right into your office and talk to your team and your staff and help you guys improve your communication skills. So when you come across a patient by asking good, great, deep questions, you can definitely understand what your patient's desires and wants are and offer them exactly what they want. No selling, no, you know, forceful or gimmick type of a sales technique. No, it's just an honest conversation with your patient to truly understand what they need. If we do not understand what they need, we offer them treatment solutions that many times come across as we are pushy or 
you know, it, it's a hard sell. But if you understand it well, it never comes across like that. It comes across that you are there to help them and then advise them. And that's the way we should be as doctors anyway. But the biggest problem I see is that the doctors, they like one way communication with the patient to tell the patient exactly what they need. And then when they don't accept the treatment, they get offended or their ego gets bruised because of the fact that they said no to them. But the problem is they do not understand how to ask the proper questions. And this starts in the entire sales communication uh, cycle, which I have posted several times on the IG channel. And if you need it, please write in the comment. And I'll be happy to have our staff uh, uh, direct message you or send it to you and so forth. Once you understand how to ask good question at every point in your communication cycle, then you start building good report, good trust and relationship with your patients. And once the patients like you, they trust you. Once they trust you, they would say yes to your recommended treatment plan. This is Dr. Allen. If I can help you in any way, please let me know, direct message me, or you may visit my website at www.drallennaziri.com. Thank you very much for tuning in. Take care.